In this video, I tried a high tea buffet at the luxurious Indian 5-star Imperial Hotel Delhi. Hi, my name is Ivana and I've been living in Bengaluru now for more than five years. This is my first time back in Delhi after three years. The pandemic kept me away for a long time and I came across a very interesting luxury buffet that I wanted to try out with you guys today. I've had plenty of Delhi street food back in the days when I was traveling in Delhi, but I've never actually went for a luxury buffet. Apparently the afternoon tea at the Imperial Hotel is quite iconic, but unfortunately I only heard about it on this trip and like a true foodie, I ran to the Imperial Hotel and we are trying everything today. I'm going to start over here at the coconut kaya. I saw the big version of the cake and the inside seems to have a lot of rainbow layers. So very excited to try that. Then we have a gulab jamun tart and this one is eggless. Wow, that looks so, so pretty. And then we have a chicken tikka on white bread sandwich. Banana and salted caramel cake over here with a blueberry on top. That looks delicious. Next to it, a corn and spinach on rye bread sandwich. Belgium chocolate eggless cake. It is still strawberry season, so fresh strawberries on top. Then we have, oh, this looks so interesting. We have a ham and cheese sandwich on pesto bread. So if you're non-veg, this looks very, very fancy actually. And we have a mango and passion fruit cake over here. That also looks really, really pretty. We have a Russian salad sandwich on saffron bread next to it. Wow, I've never tried saffron bread and this looks so beautiful. Russian salad is one of my favorites. Uh, yeah, so very excited to try this one. And then we have the red velvet eggless cake over here. We've got cucumber mascarpone on rye bread sandwiches. I think these are going to be my favorite. I love, love, love cucumber sandwiches during a high tea or an afternoon tea. We got some dark chocolate cookies over here and we got a masala egg salad on pesto bread over here. Next to it, we have some tomato basil on white bread. Oh, this also looks really, really tasty and delicious. Good sandwich. And we have a butter cake over here. Actually, two types of butter cake. Starting out with the cucumber slash mascarpone sandwich. Should I do this fancy? Should I like cut with the cutlery and everything? I, th I think so. Like we are at the Imperial Hotel New Delhi. I think we should be fancy, right? Here we go. Cheers, guys. Mm. I actually came here super early at 2 p.m. The buffet starts at 3 p.m. because I wanted to make sure that the sandwiches are not dry when I arrive. That's usually the case with these afternoon sandwiches and this cucumber sandwich. It's soft, moist, fresh. Mm. I love the fact that they make it with mascarpone. I actually want to take a sip of chai. I ordered masala chai. What is afternoon tea without tea? But then chai because chai like Mm. full body flavor masala chai i love 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 the cute teapot that they serve it in and also these cups also look very very bell and the beast <laughs> love it mm. going in for that saffron bread a russian salad sandwich okay that looks so beautiful okay oh i'm messing it up i'm sorry guys that i'm not being super super fancy can definitely see some potatoes in that Russian salad, some peas, I think, some capsicum. Okay, very curious about that saffron bread, actually. I've never had that before. Cheers. Mm. I'm so happy. That Russian salad literally flushes back memories from New Year's when, because my mom always makes Russian salad for New Year's. Saffron bread, I mean, cool. Saffron is more used for coloring but actually you can even see a strand of saffron in that saffron bread so it's in there i just can't taste it because the russian salad is 
quite powerful but that russian salad oh my gosh i'm completely transported to new year's with my parents and it makes me so happy okay going in for that corn and spinach sandwich you can already see it's a little bit dried out so definitely come on time or grab it when there is a fresh batch it's just the thing with bread and sandwiches it just dries out very quickly but corn and spinach is one of my favorite sandwiches so very excited to try this cheers mm, i love the mayonnaise that they used in this if there's mayonnaise in there but it tastes super yum. Mm. The bread is definitely a little bit on the drier side, but I don't mind it. This is a good sandwich. Next to it is a banoffee, an eggless one. And I love the presentation of this because you can clearly see the layers in the transparent glass. So pretty. Next to it is a chocolate eclair, which is French. So traditionally not found in an afternoon tea, but I am not mad about this. It looks absolutely amazing. And then the Le Maman Supam. This is actually a picture that I saw online and that made me come to this afternoon tea. This is the cherry and chocolate. I don't know if it's a cake or if it's actually like a praline or something like that. I'm very excited to try this. It looks so pretty. Chocolate and apricot vegan cake over here with a white chocolate bomb on top next to it a tuna and red onion on saffron bread sandwich and salty cumin biscuits these are my favorites jira biscuits definitely make sure to try those then this looks like a opera cake judging from the layers but we'll see and then next to it we have a biscoff cheesecake oh love me some biscoff so definitely excited to try the cheesecake this looks amazing and then we're back at the coconut kaya it is time to eat normally at an afternoon tea you would get all of the snacks and the tea served on a tray but here it is actually a buffet and some people get disappointed about that because they love the tray of an afternoon tea but for me it was actually more exciting to have a buffet because i love trying multiple things and then actually having the opportunity to go in for seconds if you like something i mean that's amazing. Okay, cutting in for the piece that I actually came here for. Let's see what is inside. I'm so curious. <gasps> Cherry and chocolate. I am not mad about this. This looks amazing. Look at all the layers. Oh, it is softer than I thought it would be because I thought the outer layer would also be chocolate or something. It's more of a cake, I think. I just need to take a bite of this. Another look on the cherry and chocolate. So it's more layers. I actually thought it would be like a praline or chocolate or something. I'm not mad about it. Let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. What is this? All childhood memories like flushing through me. There's actually some kind of marshmallow base in there. And there's a chocolate bottom. There's a little bit of cake. So it completely reminds me of Munchmallow, which is a snack that I used to eat a lot in my childhood. Obviously, this is the very, very pretty fancy version. Oh my gosh, I am like so, 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 so happy with this. Definitely going in for seconds with this one. And the sandwiches as well. I'm hungry. I miss breakfast for this afternoon tea buffet. Mmm. <laughs> Cutting into that chocolate eclair. Ooh, that was smooth. Ooh, that looks amazing. Oh, look at the layers of the eclair. That looks fantastic. Wow. Okay. I mean, the mousse is literally oozing out. This looks fantastic. I hope the eclair is not dry, so cheers to that. Decent. I've had better eclairs, and I have to say chocolate eclair is not per, like, per se my favorite, but decent eclair. I'm not mad about this eclair. <laughs> In the hot section, we got the puff. So this is a chicken tikka puff. And next to it, scones with strawberry jam and clotted cream. And, and this strawberry jam actually looks really, really homemade. So very very excited about that we've got a mushroom and onion puffs eggless and then we have the vegetable samosa potato yeah le moment supreme the scone i've taken the scone with the raisins i know it's a little bit of a controversial topic like should there be raisins as scones or not i am sometimes in the mood for raisins and sometimes i'm not so i'm like team both <laughs> and then there is another discussion should you put the cream first or the jam first i always put the cream first and then the jam on top because i just think that looks prettier than the other way around i don't think it tastes any different do you guys think so by the way side note scones are very hard to find in india at least i've been searching for them in bakeries and on swiggy 
in luxury hotels but until now until the imperial hotel new delhi i haven't been able to find them so cheers to my first non-self-baked scones in india <laughs> I mean, I love this cone. I love the cream, but that jam, that is homemade. And it is strawberry season right now. I can also taste that they didn't put too much sugar in it. So that strawberry flavor completely hits you in the face. It is fantastic. That jam should be packaged and sold. Oh, oh, oh. Also, honorable mention for the scone. There's quite some salt in there, which makes it the perfect scone. Scones are not supposed to be sweet. They're just supposed to be a vehicle for the cream and the jam. And the whole combo together like this, I'm taking another bite is the whole magic oh my gosh that's amazing let's go in for some puffs and maybe some other cakes because yeah there's so much to try still at the buffet two extremely honorable mentions this atrium is a fantastic place to sit it's kind of like an outdoor indoor place where it's perfect actually for delhi weather because sometimes delhi gets super hot and then you can still sit here because it is air conditioned but also in winter delhi gets super cold and still you have the feeling of sitting outside with a big beautiful window and the sun is shining so that is winning in life also the staff is so sweet so friendly i love it obviously it's a luxury hotel but um that you can clearly see that the staff has been trained for a long time and that they're quite you know how do you say that routine in the service that they give so i'm always very very happy to see that going in for some savories this mushroom puff oh i am drooling i definitely want a mushroom puff mushroom and onion it is mm. Mm. this tastes like my grandmother made it what is up with these childhood memories i can so clearly taste that it's handmade mm amazing flaky but still has a bite mushroom and onion good but the star of this is the puff pastry and i actually also want to go in for the samosa i can clearly see some jira seeds on the outside or maybe it's ajwain oh i hope it's ajwain actually because i love ajwain also the cuteness man look at this mini samosa it's so so cute <laughs> hold on wait a minute there's paneer in there? Are you kidding me? I think this is paneer. Definitely not your typical samosa. The dough, again, perfection. Absolute perfection. Just the way samosa dough is supposed to be. I mean, perfectly golden brown fried. Mm. It said alu, so potato. But there's paneer in there. What is this? Surprise Havana day or something? <laughs> like pampe Havana? Absolute heaven. I love this samosa. Going in for some sweet stuff again. That banoffee. I had to try that. Look at those beautiful, distinct layers. Wow, that is a work of art on its own. And I've never really had a fondness of banoffee because I always thought it was way too sweet. I love my sweet self, but like banoffee was like ooh, overkill. So let's see what this one is like. That is light as a feather. Wow, that cream is fantastic. I don't think they added too much sugar uh, to the cream. So that's why it tastes so light and it's so well balanced in terms of sweetness. If you completely get the caramel layer, then it's going to be very, very sweet. But amazing amazing banoffee i'm gonna take one more bite because it's really good mm. fantastic banoffee this is a must try 100 percent. put this one and that chocolate red thing on your list and the um, scone and now i'm going in for the i think the gulab jamun tart i'm not sure about it because i've never really seen a gulab jamun tart before but and the problem with tarts usually is that they become quite eggy, but um, let's see. Mm, I'm not against this. Not better than an original gulab jamun, but there's actually a cake layer underneath the cream layer, which is gulab jamun, combined with a pastry, which is perfectly baked, by the way. This is good. It's not eggy at all, so mad kudos for that. Yum! Now going in for that Biscoff cheesecake. I love myself some Biscoff. But cheesecake? I've never tried that before. Mm, that looks yum. Cheers. That is yum. It's more cheesecake with a flavor of Biscoff, which I don't mind at all. Because obviously I want to eat a cheesecake. That, that is yum. By the way, none of this is sponsored. I just came here on my own and I'm paying for this myself. But I am extremely, extremely pleasantly surprised. You have to try that banoffee. You have to try that mushroom puff. That samosa. Definitely don't miss out on that. Scones. If you're looking for the perfect scones with the strawberry jam, you have to go right now because strawberries are in season and that strawberry jam should seriously be bottled. It was so good. And also go for that beautiful cake, that uh, cherry and chocolate that actually brought me here. <laughs> this 
makes me so excited about trying more buffets and luxury buffets in Delhi. If you guys are also excited about that, make sure to recommend me some buffets that you may know of that I haven't heard of before because I genuinely did not know about this and I'm so surprised. Also, if you feel that more people should see this afternoon high tea at the Imperial Hotel New Delhi, make sure to share it with as many people as possible to show them that Delhi truly is the food capital of India. I always say that and Delhi keeps surprising me with new foodie things every time I come here. Also, you can put a thumbs up and you can join 280,000 other subscribers. It's free and you'll get a notification the next time I upload a new video. For now, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!